This is an old man Lydica. I'm from Chester, Nova Scotia. It would be much easier talking about Shaka Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I could call myself Old Man Ludic because I uh, was a nickname that was given to me and uh, nothing about what I do seemed terribly new at the time. I was feeling important, feeling in control. Felt like everywhere I went, folks, said, there it goes. I was beaming like a noonday sun, my ducks all in a row. I, it just sounded so different and foreign to my ear that I never. I, when I when I wanted to write songs, I, I picked a banjo just because because uh, uh, just on a whim really. But it was mostly just because of that thrilling feeling that the sound of the instrument gave me. That always leaps out on every recording I've ever heard of, of any any type of music that features a sound even remotely like the banjo. It just seems to really pop out, and I, I was like, what is that? And uh, and and. Uh, I've just always found that very, very thrilling. Ain't going my way, going my way. There's no denying things ain't flying my way. It ain't going my way, going my way. There's no denying things ain't flying my way. How does East Coast shape what I do well? Well, um, basically, I, I live in the country about an hour from Halifax, and uh, it's sort of the, the culmination of my sort of urban back to the country fantasy. And, you know, I've been there for long enough now that, that, that rural images and stuff are starting to find like a natural place in there in my songwriting as opposed to just a sort of urban romantic yearning for the country. Now I'm really full of it. I used to walk around a lot, feeling pretty small. So people said you're not so bad, and so I stood up tall. In other ways, I mean, the East Coast is just a, a really incredibly fertile place for music um, right now, and has been for you know for the last 20 years, or uh, probably yeah, forever, really. Um, but I've only been there for about 10 years, and my whole sort of musical universe has been has been always centered there and i think like you know people ask if if my music is is like typically east coast or whatever or you know they'll come up at shows and they say oh you know your music represents the east coast to me but but I, i've listened to a lot of early folk music and i i wouldn't consider my music particularly east coast in, in its flavor except that it's old in its flavor or there's something that i mean the lyrics are contemporary but the but the flavor of, of being sort of a bearded guy, you know, and telling stories, <laughs> you know, is kind of a, a, an older concept than like, y you know, wearing tight jeans and a neck scarf or something like that. And, and you know, try, trying to like, uh, you're trying to be like a, a, a darling of, of, of some kind of a hip scene. You know, I, I've always been looking for a real scene, I guess. And, and, and my scene happens to be older values, I guess, in some ways. I think what I've done is I've created a body of work that that is about uh, is about the the sort of balance between hope and fear. Like like the most of my songs are are sort of optimistic with a fairly dark undertone. I think in terms of their lyrical content and 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 you know a lot of the music that I like the best. If you listen to like a lot of like Hank Williams, for instance, like I mean he's singing really sad songs, except that the effect is 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 buoyant, you know what I mean? Like, and I think that that's something that the banjo gives is a natural buoyancy that might be a, a subtlety that's lost on on some, but it's certainly not lost on on my on my fans, you know. Um, and uh, uh, um, so to have that sort of buoyancy of entertainment with a sort of awareness of of like a sort of optimism in the face of fear is is, is basically all I'm going for. Going my way, going my way.